hello everyone welcome back so today's video is going to be on this makeup look so just stay tuned keep watching so i'm using the rimmel london concealer in the color golden beige i'm going to place that on my eyelids as a base for my eyeshadow i'm using my favorite anastasia beverly hills palette the color i'm currently using is orange soda and i'm just going to blend that in the corner of my eye and blend that all the way up into my transition shade. Going back into that same color, I just wanna go ahead and stack that on so you can really see that color pop. Now I'm gonna go into the color Burnt Orange and I'm just gonna place that into my crease just to darken that outer layer of the eye. And then I'm taking my concealer and I'm cutting my crease halfway like I normally do. And I'm using my MAC 212 brush. And this is an easy tutorial, guys. I know you guys will like this. So, yeah. So now that I have the crease exactly where I want it, I'm just gonna take the shadows that we were using and just blend that in so that it'd be an easy transition from the crease to the wing of the eye. And then I'm gonna take Mecca Bella in the color Tease. I'm just gonna place that on my lid. This is one of my favorite shimmering powders. I love this, so I'm just gonna pack that on. And then I'm gonna blend out our edges, just like we were doing the cut crease. And I'm gonna take the shade Glistening out of the ABH Cosmetic Palette. I'm just gonna put that on my brown bone just to give it a little bit more highlight and definition. So it's now time for eyeliner. I'm using the NYX Cosmetic Black Eyeliner and I'm gonna do a really dramatic Nicki Minaj style eyeliner. Now onto the face, I'm using the MAC Prep and Prime Primer. And I'm just gonna slather that all over my face. I usually use this primer when it's really, really hot outside or I have like a big event. And then we're gonna go into the Maybelline Fit Me Matte Foundation and it's in the color 330. And I'm just gonna put a little bit on all over my face and then blend that out with my buffing brush. If you don't know by now, I'm using the LA Girl Pro Concealer in the color medium beige. I'm just going to put that on my nose, under my eyes, on my forehead, my chin, pretty much everywhere. <laughs> and we're just going to go ahead and blend that out. And the brush I'm going to be using is the Ulta Buffing Brush. To set my face, I'm going to be using the L'Oreal translucent powder and then I'm using the Ulta angle brush and I'm just going to go ahead and place it everywhere that I put concealer. To 
to contour my face, I'm going to be using the L'Oreal True Match Powder in the color C7. And I'm just going to contour my face. I like to put on a lot of contour powder or bronzer um, to give my face like a definition because that foundation and the powder takes away from the definition of your face. So I'm just going to snatch that face back on up, baby. So I'm going to put the bronzer everywhere. So I like to do my cheeks on the side of my face, like a half a three, because I don't do underneath my um, jawline, which I should to have my double chin. <laughs> and then I'm going to contour my nose. And that's pretty much it. Then I'm going to buff that on out. And the buffing brush I'm using is the Mary Kay buffing brush. I'm going to be using the Katy Perry lip gloss. It's so cute with the little cat. And it's in the color Tabby Tees. I'm going to set my face with the Ruby Kiss Never Touch Up setting spray. It lasts 24 hours and I love it. So this is the finished look, you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Had so much fun making it. And stay tuned for the next video. Bye, guys.